Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at the Riven Okinos. Now this is a dual tower cooler with 140 and also 120mm fan. It does feature six heat pipes, of which two of them are 8mm and the rest are 6mm. Um, fan blades on this are yellow, um, quite a strange colour to pick, but you know, nevertheless, if we even want to pick that, they can do. I think they've done that from their, from their logo colour, but nevertheless, it does look a very, very good cooler. Um, it's fully nickel plated, so everything's all silver and everything. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's check this cooler out, and then I'm going to be testing out uh, you know, the cooler on my uh, usual test rig on the uh, i7 4790K, see what temps we get. Oh, and also, this cooler does come with um, some low speed adapters, same as um, many of the Noctua coolers. So I'm going to be testing the cooler with that, and um, yeah, kind of seeing how it performs with them attached. Anyway, let's kind of jump into the video, and yeah, let's kind of you know, start off with what we get inside the box. To get started, as always, that's a quick unboxing. Inside the box, we're presented with the two top slits of the CPU colour and three boxes. Inside on the middle box out, you find lots of accessories in this box that are needed for insulation, as well as other accessories like thermal paste, low speed adapters, and metal fan clips. Inside the other two boxes, we find two yellow fans, one that is 120mm and another that's 140mm. Both feature very striking yellow blades that I'd assume have been chosen based on the colour of Reven's company logo. And finally, inside the box, we have the large heat sink itself. On to a further look at the heatsink, this cooler is quite a slim dual tower design compared to most other high performance dual tower heatsinks on the market. Now this cooler comes with six copper heat pipes, two of which in the center are eight millimeters thick, while the other four are six millimeters thick. It's the first time I've seen a mixture of heat pipe sizes used on a cooler, so it'll be pretty interesting to see how this stacks up to other coolers I've tested in the past year. Now as for dimensions, the cooler comes in at 163 millimeters in height, 135 millimeters wide, and 140 millimeters in depth, with the weight being 1.06 kilos when both fans are attached. Now the heat pipes on the cooler are copper, with both the fin stacks being aluminum, with the whole cooler being nickel plated. Now this nickel plating does give the cooler a nice clean silver look and finish. Now on the bottom we found a somewhat reflective base and therefore for me anyway will mean it'll be pretty easy to remove any thermal compound if you do need to remove this in the future. And finally up top we found many cutout holes and the Reven logo cut out on the top two smooth slates of the cooler, a nice touch. Moving on to the fans and their design and specs, inside the box as mentioned we found two fans, a 140mm fan meant to be sandwiched in between the two fin stacks and a 120mm fan to be placed on the outside of the cooler. Now both fans look quite striking with their yellow blades, however it's not all about looks but then I do know of many people that are really into colour coordinating their rigs and might encounter a bit of a problem if they ever want to get matching yellow components. Now both fans uh, attach uh, with the metal clips included in the accessory box and both come with four pin PWM black sleeved connectors. As for the specs of these fans, a larger fan is rated to run at a speed of 1700 RPM while the smaller one is meant to run at 1800 RPM maximum with the minimum RPM of both fans being a very slow 300 RPM. Now with the low speed adapters attached it'll bring the fans down to 1100 and 1200 RPM respectively. Moving on to the installation of the cooler, overall it was a pleasant one and to me is mainly easy due to the fact that you get a solid metal backplate and other large metal pieces to hold the cooler into place on the board. Now as for a quick rundown and how to actually get the cooler installed on your board, you want to remove your existing cooler and all the other components from the PCI Express slots and to put four backplate bolts and rubber washers through the metal backplate and slide it under your board. Now once you've done this, you want to place the four white plastic spacers on top of the bolts, then you can fix the mounting bracket on top and screw in the four nuts. This will secure the mounting apparatus so you can apply the thermal compound. Once you've installed a small amount of thermal paste, you can place the cooler onto the CPU and then secure that into place with the metal mounting bar and the two screws. Now be sure to fix both fans of the cooler afterwards and to plug them in to the CPU headers on your motherboard. Now unfortunately, this CPU cooler doesn't feature a wire connector, but most boards do have more than one fan header located near the CPU socket. Finally onto the performance, testing this cooler on my i7-4790K at stock speeds with the automatic 4.4GHz Terra Boost enabled, the Oculus was able to keep the chip at a relatively cool running 61 degrees. This was while running my usual benchmark of rendering out the quite intensive 2016 How to Build a Gaming PC Guide in Adobe Premiere CS6. Although this looks to have done great in keeping the processor cool, it was probably the loudest 
high-end cooler I've tested up to now and would explain why it did so well. However, when plugging in the low noise adapters that Reven provide with the cooler and benchmarking the system again, the temperatures on average only risen by a mere three degrees while the noise levels dropped significantly. Now the noise levels were very close to what the Noctua NHD15 makes while under load and therefore when considering the price of this cooler, it makes this product look a very strong contender indeed. Anyhow, let's roll the outro and conclude on the CPU cooler from Reven. So guys, to conclude on the Reven Okinos. Now I personally think it's a brilliant cooler for the money I'm paying, as I've said just you know, <laughs> a few moments ago. Um, the cooler, yeah, is very, very good. As I said, it does make a little bit more noise than the Noctua NHD15, which as I, I believe a lot of you guys know now that I, uh, now that I have reviewed that cooler, it is very, very quiet. Um, I was kind of blown away by the Noctua cooler. Everybody say it was really, really quiet when I tested it. I was like, yes, <laughs> it really is. But yeah, this cooler is a little bit louder. Um, just a, just a tiny, tiny bit louder. But you have got to remember, this cooler is considerably cheaper, and it is smaller in size as well. Um, the Noctua, it kind of blocked the first PCI Express slot just by a tiny, tiny amount. Now, I could still get my Wi-Fi card in there, as, you know, as it's only short, but with a graphic card, for example, um, you know, you might have a problem with the Noctua cooler. While this one doesn't, you know, because it isn't as big and doesn't kind of go as far, on, on some other board, you know, you are gonna be able to plug a graph card in that first slot with this cooler. Um, without these adapters, um, you do get, um, you know, the fans do sound like jet engines, but with these attached, they become very, very silent and the performance is still very, very good. You only gain about three, four degrees on the temperatures and um, still it is actually performing better than the NHD15 in terms of the temperatures. So there we are, I just wanted to mention that. Overall, I would recommend this cooler for the price. I think it's a brilliant product and it is good to see see other companies, you know, making really, really good um, CPU coolers and just products in general. Um, first time, I, you know, first time I've kind of worked with Ravine, uh, Ravine and I am very impressed with this cooler, so I would definitely recommend it. And anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have any, you know, questions or comments about this cooler, yeah, you know, do feel free to post them in the um, comment section. And um, yeah, without further ado, guys, uh, you know, feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.